Hey guys, what is up the Neo Cubist here? Welcome to my Oak Forest based tutorial. It's a really easy tutorial to do. It looks really awesome. It's pretty unique. It's got a really, really awesome interior. I'm super proud of this one. It's got an awesome living area in here and a really cool upstairs as well. All space efficient and yeah, let's get started. All right, so for the entire exterior of your base, you're gonna need only these materials. So a pretty simple build. We're gonna start off by building the front with two oak logs just like this for a total of three high and a two block space in between. You want to connect them at the top like this. We're then going to go over one diagonally and we're going to go up one, two, three blocks and then up to four. Sorry, it's pretty early in the morning. My brain is just now waking up, but this is the essential shape we're going to need. And we're just going to bring that diagonal out again, just one block higher, just like that and do the same thing on each side. It's going to be symmetrical all the way through the whole build, just like that. And then we're going to go up one more block, but we're going to do it on the uh, same level, just right there. And then we're going to go out and we're going to go up one more block, but we're going to do that for a total of three, just like that. And that should be on the same level as the, uh, actually it shouldn't be on the same level as anything, but both these sides should be on the same level. I know that for sure. And then, so that's three and then we're going to need three higher. Yep. Looks two up. Yep, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna build three more blocks, but these are going to each be one block higher than the ones before. And for some reason, hmm, no, I mean that that is right. I, I don't remember it being like that, but that's how it's built. Not gonna argue with the pictures, so I'm just going to build this again, just one block higher, just like this. Perfect. And then we're going to build this thing. So go ahead and go one block higher for this. And then these blocks right here are going to be the same length. Let me get that diagonal there. Perfect. So again, just a diagonal shape like that. And so a pretty easy build. I think you guys should definitely be capable of copying what I just did. If you got confused at all, you can just go watch it back over. I do not mind at all. I will not take offense. Sometimes I talk a little bit quickly and I build a little bit quickly. I've just been building for so long. I don't really know what people don't and do get anymore. But yeah, let's just keep on building this wall. Oh no. Perfect. Okay. So on to the next step. All right. So we're going to take our trapdoors from the outside and everywhere it's on a layer, just like everywhere, like place a trapdoor on the top layer of the log. I, I think I just used English there. I, I'm not entirely sure, but that, that sounded right to me. But uh, yeah, all you do is just put a little trapdoor on top of each log, just like that. Nothing on the front here. There's going to be some fence there, but again, just the same sort of thing, just on the top log, just put a trapdoor and make sure you fold it on down and then let's get around to the front here and then it's going to be the same on the front so just like this as you'd expect I don't know if that one should be yeah that one should probably be on this one right here perfect okay cool let's go ahead and just build this front here so let's take some fence and just like that and then we'll pick, take some leaves and we're just going to do this now just a precursor so I think you guys get the idea of what that's going to be but let me go ahead and just break that and put those there. Let's grab doors. Make sure you place them from the ins inside of the build just so it looks like it has a little bit more depth. But yeah, let's get onto the roof. So this roof is pretty simple to do. Just hear me out while I explain it. So it's always going to be hanging over the trap doors by at least one block, just like that. And uh, all that really means is that it's just going to be hanging over the trap doors by one block. So it's a pretty simple roof to do, really. All you have to do is just go and uh, get on top, get some shears, grab some oak wood leaves, or any kind of leaves really. You can build this out of jungle wood, you can build it out of really whatever. It really doesn't matter. But just make sure your leaves extend out only one block past all of your trap doors. So just like that. And uh, again, it's a pretty simple roof, but I think it looks quite nice. You know, that's just my opinion. You can always change it up and build like maybe, you can build it out of oak wood planks. And you could actually probably make it pretty cool. So if you want to do that, go ahead, be my guest. But this is the roof I chose, just so it, it looks almost sort of camouflaged, like in an oak forest, I'd say. I think it's pretty cool to like, I mean, it, it, it's a fairly hidden base. You probably saw the thumbnail and you're like, hmm, I mean, that looks pretty hidden to me. So, uh, yeah, but I don't remember exactly how the roof was done on the front. Oh, well, <laughs> ooh, tricked myself there. I don't know how it was done. It, it should be okay, actually. So we'll just extend off and then we'll do it like that. And I think that's actually how it was before. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go inside and modify a few things here, I think. No, never mind. They don't need to be, it doesn't need to be changed. I think what I had done is maybe bring the corners in just one like this, just so that they didn't sort of float away with the shaders. 
but it again it really does not matter just don't mess around too much with the leaves up here so there's going to be a second floor but uh yeah let's finish the exterior real quick and then we'll get on to the inside which is really really cool by the way i hope you guys stay around for that and before we build the windows let's go ahead and just place the shrubbery down all the way around here and then make sure you get on this side as well and then after you do that now we can get on to the windows which are honestly pretty simple so this one right here is just going to be broken out it's going to be a two block just like that it's going to be one block above the window just like that so that you have the little half slab area above it let's go ahead and repeat the same thing over here on this side there we go perfect looks good to me next window is going to be right here and this one's going to be three blocks high just like that so the same thing with a little half block space right there and then you just bring down the subsequent slabs and it looks something like that which looks pretty cool let's go ahead and repeat the same thing over on here three blocks high two blocks wide and then we place half slab one half slab above bring it down perfect and then there's one final window right here so there's actually two over here but this one this first one's gonna be a little bit different so we're gonna go ahead and just fill in this one so this one's gonna be two blocks higher and then I think it just comes down just like something like that but I think it has one that goes off to the side just like that let me double triple quadruple check yep perfect just like that and then the one above it is going to be just I think it's just gonna be right here if I remember is there just a half slab below it yeah there is half slab below it cool and then the window is gonna be the same way we did the other one so again just the half slab above the window and then down like that and that's going to be the exterior of your build so yeah let's get on to the inside which in my opinion I like the exterior of this build a lot but I like the interior a whole lot too so let's get started on that all right so first things first we're gonna build a wall that's, <laughs> that sounds a little odd just to say it's uh, almost like hmm. anyways we're gonna build a wall here right now and we're just going to build it on the fourth block so what I mean by that is there's one there's a uh, one two three four I guess on the fifth block so you just count out just those two those two and then your your wall will be empty so it'll just be those two and then those two and then build it and then your doorway is going to just be a tall little pillar but there's only going to be one block over here and it's going to be sort of offset just to right here and that's going to be your entryway wall thingy now before we get to building too much we're going to come in here with some of this beautiful cobblestone flooring and we're going to use that for our floor material now of course you're welcome to use anything you'd like Perhaps you could use some stone brick, or some brick, or some stone brick, checkerboarded with brick. You could use cobblestone with brick, checkerboarded cobblestone brick. Who knows? I mean, the, technically the possibilities are not limitless, but close to limitless, as you could make textures of your own, which would be interesting. But yeah, that's going to be the floor for your build. Awesome. Let's get to build, let's build the second floor real quick. And this, some, something's not right here. What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Looks much better to me. Okay, now let's get to the second floor. So if uh, my memory serves me correctly, we're going to go up to this window. We're going to go to the left of it, count up one, two, three, four, and then the five, fifth block on the top half, you're just going to place a block, of, uh, well, not a block, but a slab. And all this is going to allow you to do is have a second floor up here, which, I mean, it's not the biggest second floor in the world, but this is a spot where I would recommend moving removing those uh, leaves right there you obviously can't remove those as those are like the actual top layer but uh, if you don't have shaders it really doesn't matter I mean it does it shouldn't bother me with shaders but it does just because I'm weird but uh, you don't have to honestly remove it or you could remove it either way it doesn't really matter it's your build after all a ladder is going to be right here so we're just gonna take some ladders since that's not exactly hard to memorize so we're gonna put some ladders right here what come on minecraft there we go perfect awesome all right well since we're up here we might as well start out with this room I guess awesome and just for uh just for design's sake I'm just gonna put this back not because it looks bad but because of my pictures that's how it is now I don't want to get confused now I do know for a fact that in this corner so to the right of your ladder there's going to be a bunch of double chests just stacked up you shouldn't really have that block exposed honestly just stacked up just like that and then like this over here and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take trapdoors, hopefully I remember that. I honestly do hope I remember that. But right next to the ladder here, we're going to take an armor stand. We're going to place it down. We're then going to just fill it up with some armor here. And we're going to place three item frames. You can really choose to put in here whatever you want. I put a clock, a shear, 
and then a compass but honestly it really doesn't matter what you choose to put in there and then right in front of here which is gonna be yep, perfect right there we're gonna put two crafting tables this is gonna divide the room up a little bit and it makes it look pretty cool in my opinion don't have to do it but also gives you a nice area for just crafting tables which is cool so to the left of that pressure plate we're gonna put a pot what okay we're gonna put a pot and a blue orchid and then over here just because I don't want to forget, we're going to put our trap doors just lining up these chests. Just makes them look kind of connected to each other. I don't know, I, th I just like the way that that looks. We're going to put another stack of double chests just right here. With the same pattern over that we did over there. And then we're going to take a double chest, a double chest, and a double chest. And then stack one more on top of each. And then in between them, you can just put, per put furnaces. And this way, you don't have to replace one of those with the crafting table. Because you already have them out in the room. Which is nice, I think it's cool. Let me scroll through here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, not missing anything at all. So awesome, that's the top floor. Let's get down to, well, I know we're going a little bit backwards, but let's just start with the entryway real quick. I mean, it's a pretty easy area, I'd say. All right, this is everything you're gonna need for the entryway. We're gonna start off here with just some double chests and then some double chests. Line those up with the trap doors, just like that. Perfect. Oh. And then on the side right here, we're going to start off with the furnace facing this way. And I just like to sort of alternate them. I think it gives it a nice little look. So again, facing in, then out, then in, then out, just like that. Then we're going to put a stair on each window right here. We're going to put a pot and a flower in each. And then that is going to be your entryway area. So let's move on into the last and final room. All right, so looking at the wall from the side of the ladder, we're going to come over here in the corner and we're just going to place an anvil. We're then going to take some uh, trap doors just like this. Sorry, early morning brain is not functioning correctly yet. And then we're just going to place an anvil on top of there as well. Looks good to me. And then we're going to come over right to the right here. And we're going to bring up some fences. Just three blocks high with a two block space in between. And then you want to take some trap doors. And on top of those, just put those... Uh, I don't, I don't know why I got trap doors. I just said the word, and so I don't really understand what my brain's doing. Thanks, brain. Making me look stupid in front of everyone on YouTube. And then just make sure to put two blocks there, and then you can throw your painting down nice and easy. Or you could just put the buttons, which are already going to be there, just down. I think that I, I don't know why I do that, but I just think it looks pretty cool. Before I forget, I'm going to take some torches, and we're just going to light up the inside of here. I think I put two right there, two right there. And then I put, I know I put two over here, and then one right here. And that should be enough lighting for the inside of this build. Maybe another one right there or something. It really doesn't matter where you put the torches. And then up here. Well, it's a little trickier. Uh, you can put a torch right there. You can put a torch right there and right there. And that should be lit up enough. Now let's come down here and let's finish this wall right here. Alright, so right here we're going to put a piece of soul sand down. Then a trap door. A piece of glowstone on top. And I remember that's why I didn't have a torch there. Because there's a piece of glowstone. So you have a nice little area to grow some nether wart for some awkward potions. Just going to make a little table right there. And then we're just going to throw three brewing stands down on it. Now I just remembered that what we don't have actually is a cauldron. Which is something you might want to invest in if you're going to be doing potions in here. So let's do that. Put some water in it so it's functional. Nice. And then that's going to be the rest of that wall. So let's move on to the last wall over here. So I do know that there's going to be a table right here. And then on this wall, there's going to be a table right here. And then we're just going to take some pots. And then really whatever flowers you want to use, you can. I'm just going to use these selection of flowers right here. Awesome. And then we're going to put some armor stands right here, which I can just grab on camera because they're pretty easy to type. And uh, make sure they're both facing in. Then you want to take some item frames, and while you're in here, you want to grab just whatever swords you have. You want to use some memorable swords you can, or you can just craft some to just sort of look cool. And then you can face them in on each other. Let me uh, put both these, uh, put armor on both these. All right, nice. And then we're going to put two item frames up here. We're going to put two clocks, completely optional. You can put really whatever you want to up there. And then actually flip these both upwards. And then the last and final thing to do is put two stairs right there to make the clocks look nice. And your build is complete. So if you guys enjoyed this vil this build, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video or this build, and you want to see more bids, bids or vids, I guess. I don't know, builds or vids. Man, I just messed that up so bad. But if you guys want to see more builds or more videos, click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I upload. 
So sorry about the messy yeah, outro. I'm just, I have not slept. I really need to go to bed after making this. I'm probably going to. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more like it, just click the subscribe button and I will be sure to upload lots more this summer. So stay tuned. If you guys want to know anything about the shader pack, texture pack, any of that fancy stuff, it's all going to be down in the description below. So be sure to check that out if you're curious. If you'd like to leave a like, I would really appreciate it. If we could get a thousand likes in this video, that would be absolutely awesome. That really, that would probably make my summer. So if you guys want to make my summer, contribute and give me those thousand likes but if you don't want to that's okay if you want to leave a dislike because you dislike the video I honestly ask that you do but I do ask that if you do leave a dislike I would like a comment explaining why so that I can better cater my content to your preferences in hopes that you will leave a like on the next one so anyways thank you guys a final time so much thank you again so much a final time for watching and I will see you guys in the next one all right bye bye man I really need some sleep